Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the DOM versus JavaScript. So, what is the difference between those two? So, we have understood about the DOM, right? And we know about the JavaScript. So, what is the difference between those two? So, how we these both combinedly work together? Let's try to see. It. So, what is the main difference between the DOM and the JavaScript? So basically the DOM looks at our document object within our hierarchical structure. So we have seen it right. The DOM object model means it, it forms hierarchical structure. So top will be the window, next document, do, inside the document you will be having the HTML, HTML head, head and body. So like that you will be having a hierarchical structure. So that's what actually the DOM is. So DOM looks at our document object within a hierarchical structure. At the very basic level, if I want to tell you, we know that every website consists of an HTML document. Okay, so every website has uh, every website has an HTML document, and this document represent is represented in a model that is nothing but a document object model. So in the browser, this HTML. So what is that HTML document we are trying to see in the browser? That HTML document is represented in a model hierarchical tree-like structure. That is nothing but a document object model. So that is the main thing, basic level you need to understand. And we just have, and we just so happen to call that model as the DOM. That is nothing but the document object model. This document object model, so what we have seen in the browser, it will be framed a hierarchical structure, right? Allows the JavaScript, not only the JavaScript, and also the other programming languages for that matter, Access the elements of the web page website as objects. So, if you want to access the elements, each element, so you need to access as an object. So, this model not only allows the JavaScript, it also allows the other programming languages also to access the elements of the HTML document like H1 element, P element, like this as an object. So, those are represented as an object. We can also manipulate it when the user clicks on the button, so like changing the colors, changing the text, so hiding it, so like this, removing the element. So like this, we can also manipulate it when they using the DOM in the JavaScript. Like that, we can do by accessing and manipulating the DOM. You need to remember that DOM is not a programming language. I already told you from right one of first onwards. That DOM is not a programming language. But without it, so without it means without the DOM, JavaScript and other programming languages do not have any model. So that means any model or functionality or representation or notion, anything what I can say, for accessing the web page. So if we don't have a DOM, not only the JavaScript and other programming languages also, they do not have any model for accessing the web page. Now you understood that DOM and JavaScript are completely different entities. So now you understood that DOM and the JavaScript are completely different to each other. The page content is stored in the DOM and JavaScript is one of the different language that is given access to all of this content. The page content, the HTML page content which you are trying to see in the website is all is stored in the DOM. And JavaScript is the programming language which it which the DOM gives access to all of this content. So that is the main thing. As a side note, DOM is designed to be independent of any programming language. So DOM is a different one, right? So DOM we can access by any programming language. So DOM is not dependent on one programming language. So DOM is designed to be independent of any programming language. However, we mostly use the JavaScript to access the DOM to manipulate the HTML. So the most commonly used language is the JavaScript. So JavaScript, we use the JavaScript programming language to access the DOM to manipulate the HTML. But you can also use the Python, PHP or any other programming languages also. You can use it and you can access the DOM. However, mostly we use the JavaScript to access the DOM, but you can also use the Python with the XML. So XML is one of the another concept so which, which I don't want to explain you a little bit more but just I will explain you briefly XML the full form is extensible markup language so XML is is then 
is used to store the data or the transfer the data between the different languages or different entities like that. So using the XML, so the other programming languages like Python or PHP, it can access the DOM to manipulate the HTML. When we use the DOM with the XML, DOM just structures that contain as a tree of branches as nodes. So you know that you'll be having a window or document HTML, like a tree like structure you'll be having, right? Each one you'll be having a tree of branches. So those are all the things will be considered as the nodes where each node in the tree is an object. I told you, right? Each elements in the DOM you'll be having as an object. Here we'll call it as a node in the tree. And this also represent as an object. So when you consider it in a different languages, when you when you use the DOM with the con with the combination of XML, so this all this all completely different thing. So you can get rid of this one. Just I am giving you an overview, just to have a clear idea on that one. I am giving you an overview. The more important application of the DOM is learning how to use it with the HTML. The most important aspect or functionality of the DOM is we should learn how to use it with the HTML, the DOM. So that is the main aspect you need to learn it. So this is all about the DOM versus the JavaScript. So you need to understand that DOM is completely different to each other and JavaScript is a completely different language. We can access the DOM not only with the JavaScript, with other programming language also we can use it. However, the mostly commonly used language is the JavaScript. We use it for the accessing of the DOM. So that is one of the important concepts you need to understand. So DOM is not also not a programming language and DOM is designed to be independent of any programming language. So this is all about the DOM versus the JavaScript. Hope you understood about this DOM and the difference between the JavaScript. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.